This is Andrea Abayabai. I'm a 3-5 emotionally defined projector and I'm experimenting with human design. Understanding my human design has been a personal journey of discovery, unlike anything else in its ability to help me recognize the fulfilling life that I was missing out on. My journey began with a reading by a professionally trained human design analyst. She gave me an overview of my rave body graph to meet my aura type of projector and my strategy which is to wait for the invitation. I also discovered my inner authority, which is my solar plexus center, the source of powerful emotions that I regularly experienced. I learned why I made so many mistakes in life and why I need to wait patiently for clarity in order to decide what invitations are right for me. My next step was a Living Your Design Awakening program, which I began with Human Design America in May of last year. This LYD Awakening program was the perfect way for me to facilitate the process known as deconditioning which is a seven-year cellular renewal while transferring decision-making from your mind to your inner authority. Following the strategy of my type and honoring where I was designed to make decisions as my truth has begun to make me aware of not-self behaviors that I had that lead to resistance. I say I had, I, I still have them, I still notice them, but at least now I know when they show up that they're not me and I can give myself the grace to accept it and move on. The LYD program taught me how to reduce the resistance in my life and to allow the emergence of my true gifts, talents, and uniqueness. Deconditioning had the ability to eventually break through my mind's death grip on my life. It literally was a death grip. I came close to ending my life just to end the pain. Our minds have absolutely no business running our lives and often, for the majority of people, our minds are killing us slowly. Not only would I try to make decisions with my mind, I gave other people authority over decision making in my life. It was, I can tell you truly, a surefire way to end up living a not-self life, bitter, disappointed, and disillusioned. In other words, making decisions from my mind was the way I ended up living a life filled with resistance which showed up as mostly bitterness for me as a projector. Improper flow of energy in my life led to incorrect living in the form of extreme anxiety at times, confusion, burnout, depression, disease, and exhaustion, which I tried to hide from everyone, except for the people who were very close to me. I couldn't hide it from them. So in the LYD Awakening program, I was guided through the nine centers of the human design body graph and how they're designed to operate correctly, as well as what they operate like when incorrect. I was encouraged to take a good hard look at the ways in which I was protecting what I thought of as myself, which was really my not-self. Most people operate from not-self, which is their mind's fearful way of malfunctioning in order to avoid pain, and I was deeply, deeply conditioned to be the same. Making decisions from my openness, which amplified the energies around me, distorted my perceptions of what was true for me, and it led me to living a life that I was totally not suited for. You know, it takes a really high level of awareness and a very deep level of honesty to begin to see the ways in which your mind has taken over running and ruining your life. So through writing and social media, I am beginning to document my experiment of following my strategy and honoring my inner authority. If you'd like to join me on this journey, it would be fun to have you along for the ride. So I want my primary focus to be on the basics of human design as I explore it and on the two things that I know will help shatter the hold of my mind's not-self behavior in my life, and that is recognizing the signposts of my mind's control over my decision-making process, and learning how to follow my human design strategy while honoring my inner authority instead of my mind. This core perspective shift on how to handle decision-making in life can bypass the traps of the mind and the pitfalls of living as not-self. I am beginning to recognize the not-self ways in which I protect myself and slowly I'm discovering a life that I really feel I was born to live. I feel like I'm able to reveal the uniqueness of my true self that I was designed to be. As an emotional split definition, and that's a wide split for those of you who know what that is, and completely unaware projector, it took a lot longer and a lot deeper amount of study and observation of others in order to understand my reality enough to even begin this perspective shift, I have lived through the struggle, suffering, and deep pain of living as not self for nearly all of my 37 years. I'm still in the very beginning of my first seven year cycle of deconditioning. I'm still learning and often laughing. I can't do anything but laugh, but if I don't laugh, I'll cry. 
about all the ways my mind is incredibly incompetent when it comes to making decisions in my life. As a projector, I can see so many things with this brilliant mind about other people in their lives. And that's truly what our minds are here for. Mind is an outer authority. It is here for the other, 